Let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson, let's go and learn about the Kotlin default parameter. So in a previous lesson, we have learned about the Kotlin function where it was returning some uh, value and also a function that wasn't returning any value. And we also learned about the passing some parameter to our function and also we created a function where we didn't pass any parameter. So let's go and start with our lesson. And on the project over here, I have already created one function over here. You can see function and the function name is fi find a percent amount where we are passing a three parameter. One is a price and another one is a percent and also another one is a divider. So all of these are uh, integer variable, which you can see over here. And it does return a value, which is of uh, integer data type. And here I'm performing some calculation, which is returning a price minus the price, which we are getting actual, uh, which we are minusing, or which we are subtracting the percent amount that we are getting. So we are calculating the percent over here, which is price into the percent and also divide by the, uh, the divider that we are passing. So th this will basically return the discount amount. So whatever we are passing and let's say the actual price is 50 and you say that the person told you that that's, uh, you have a 5% discount on it and we should get a uh, actual value of that price after the discount. So uh, let's go and see about this on, uh, on create method. So I have already uh, pass uh, created a one percent uh, variable over here, which is calling the function find percent amount, and we are passing the prices of one hundred and the percent discount is that we are giving is a three percent or three, and the divider is by hundred. So that should return a percent uh, return a final amount for us after a discount of a three percent. So I'm finally logging it around. So if you run this application and let's go to the log cat over here and that should return a 97, which is, which we are passing a hundred and the discount percent is three, which is of hundred out of three, it's a, a three and that should minus the amount for us. So hundred minus three is we are getting 97. So that's we are the actual value amount that we are getting after doing some calculation over here. So how do we make it as a default parameter? So let's say we don't want to pass a divider which is of 100. So basically we'll divide 100, uh, 100 by a 3%. So if we say we don't want to pass a default, uh, we don't want to pass a divider. And uh, let's say we can just make it as a default value as a so which we can say that equals to 100. And now when we say that the default value we give, give it as uh, 100 and let's say if it doesn't pass any value over here. So let's say we, we don't want to pass that 100 over here. And let's, let us run the application one more time. And uh, let's go to the log cat one more time. Let me clear it out and let's wait for the gradle build and now you can still see we are getting a 97 we did not pass the the last parameter that we require okay let me minimize all of this function because i'm not using it so here we are passing giving a default parameter default value for this parameter which is 100 and that's why we don't have to pass it so if if you ne never pass any argument over here we should uh, by default we should actually pass some argument over here the value but we have assigned a default value over here that's why we are not passing any argument over here and the compiler accept it and if it doesn't make it as uh, we didn't pass any default value over here and the compiler should give or uh, give us some error over here and let's make it as a default value of 100 so we don't have to pass it so if if we pass it like a 200 over here that will be accepted 
and uh, that should be this value will be used so if we run the application that value the whatever value we passed over here will replace by a the default value whatever we have passed over here will be replaced by the argument that we have passed over here let's say we pass a value of 200 that 100 will be replaced by the this 100 which is of our default value will be replaced by our 200 over here so if we run the application let's clear it out and let's run the application over here and now you can see the value has changed to 99 so this is why it's uh, we have passed it as a parameter or we have passed the argument over here and the parameter over here which is of default value is 100 has been overwritten by the value that we have passed so i hope you got it over here so if we doesn't pass any argument over here or we didn't pass any value over here the default value will be used by a Kotlin function which we have mentioned it as a 100 and if you pass some value over here and that value will be this value the default value that 100 will be replaced by the value that we have passed in our argument and uh, the another thing that we have to notice is we don't have to pass this value and default value will be used and uh, let's let's say if you want to set a price by default and if you say that it's equals to uh, let's say of 80 and uh, if you try to run it let's try to run the application and uh, you can get us a 97 over here and we have passed it 100 so we are passing 100 and it's taking us 100 and if we try not to pass any value over here because we have a default parameter over here 100 and here we have a default parameter of 80 and we are not pa passing any value over here since we have already made it as a default value and we just have we are just passing the second parameter which is of a person but you can see that it's giving a uh, error no value passed for a parameter so we should pass some argument over here and then that value should be used over our parameter over here and uh, that's the thing that we have to take note you cannot make your the default parameter or a default value we should always assign from the end of our any parameter that we want to pass over here so the default value should always start with the end of your at the last of your parameter you shouldn't you should not pass a default default value to your first of the parameter and in the middle that you didn't pass anything that will that will obviously cause an error but let's say if you want to make it as this one the the second parameter which is a percent let's say we give it as a five over here and uh, that should perfectly work fine so we just pass a argument of a value of a three or four hour parameter which is price over here that should perfectly work fine because the another two has a default value and that should be used and if we make it as the price is also as a default value of 150 and that should be fine and we don't have to pass any argument over here since we have already make it as a default value over here and that will be used for all of our calculation and the uh, only thing that we have to make note is if you make it your first argument or first parameter as a default one and the middle one you did not make it as a default and the last one you make it as a default then obviously you will get an error because we have passed the first parameter and also the second parameter that we have to pass and if you try to remove the first parameter or first argument from here then you will get an error so that's all that you need to take note on our default uh, default value for our parameter that we are actually passing when we are creating a function so that's all for this lesson and i uh, hope you learn about the kotlin default value for our parameter so 
which we can also say as a default value for our function parameter and uh, we'll continue with our lesson on the next video till then have a great day